Hi everyone, welcome back to the Good to Know channel, where we break down health and wellness in a way that's fun and easy to understand. Today, we're diving into the world of magnesium, a mineral your body absolutely needs, but you might not be getting enough of. Stick around to learn what magnesium is, why it's so important, and which forms of magnesium are the best for you, and which forms of magnesium are the worst for you. So exactly what is magnesium? It's an essential mineral that's like the unsung hero of your body. It's involved in over 300 biomechanical reactions, helping everything from your muscles to your heart to your brain work properly. Think of it as a spark plug that keeps your body engine running smoothly. Let's break it down. Magnesium is crucial for muscle function. It helps your muscles relax after contracting, which can help prevent those annoying cramps. Secondly, nerve function. It supports nerve signaling, keeping your nervous system in check. Third, heart health. It maintains a steady heartbeat and supports blood pressure regulation. Number four, bone health. About 60% of your magnesium is stored in your bones, keeping them strong. Number five, energy production. It helps create ATP, your body's energy currency. Number six, blood sugar control. It aids in insulin function to help keep blood sugar levels stable. And it even helps with reducing anxiety and improving sleep. Basically, magnesium is a superstar. Here's the catch. A lot of us aren't getting enough magnesium. Research suggests that up to half of Americans might be deficient, especially older adults or people with conditions like diabetes or digestive disorders. That's a big deal because low magnesium can cause some serious issues. If you're low on magnesium, you might notice symptoms like muscle cramps, fatigue, trouble sleeping, anxiety, or even irregular heartbeat. Over time, a severe deficiency could increase your risk of conditions like osteosporosis or heart disease. So making sure you're getting enough magnesium is super important. Now, if you're thinking about supplements to boost your magnesium, here's the thing. Not all magnesium is created equal. There are tons of different forms out there, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Let's dive into the best and worst forms so you can make the smartest choice for your health. First up, magnesium glycinate. This form is super absorbable, meaning that your body can actually use it. This one has one of the highest absorption rates, about 80 to 85%. It's gentle on your stomach, making it great for people with sensitive digestion. Plus, the glycine is bound to have its calming effects, so it's awesome for better sleep and easing anxiety. An excellent choice for general health and mental wellness. You'll often see it labeled simply as magnesium glycinate, but the more accurate term is magnesium biglycinate, which means the magnesium is bound to two glycine molecules for better absorption. Most high quality magnesium glycinate supplements actually use this form. So if the label says fully reactive magnesium biglycinate, that's a good sign you're getting a pure, well-absorbed product without cheaper fillers like magnesium oxide. Next up is magnesium L3 and 8. This one's a game changer for brain health because it can cross a blood brain barrier where approximately 30 to 40% of magnesium can be absorbed systematically. It can help with memory, focus, and even protect against age-related cognitive decline. If you're looking to support memory, learning, or cognitive function, this one's a standout. Then we have magnesium taurine, which is bound to taurine. This form is fantastic for heart health, helping to regulate blood pressure and support your cardiovascular system. It has a solid absorption rate around 70 to 75%, making it a great option for regulating blood pressure and supporting overall heart health. It's a great pick if your heart health is your focus. Magnesium citrate is the next one and it's a popular choice for constipation relief because it has a laxative effect. It's reasonably absorbed at a rate of 25 to 30%, but I suggest you go easy on the dose. Too much can lead to diarrhea. It's great if you need a little help in the bathroom, but not ideal for everyday use. Now let's talk about the worst forms to approach with caution. Magnesium oxide is super common and cheap, but it's not well absorbed by the body. Its absorption rate is only about 4%, which means most of it passes through your system unused. It's mainly used for its laxative effect rather than correcting a deficiency. So if you're looking to fix a magnesium deficiency, this isn't a recommended choice. Magnesium sulfate, better known as Epsom salt, is awesome for soaking in the bath to relax your muscles and ease tension. But as an oral supplement, not so much. When taken by mouth, its absorption rate is poor, only about 5 to 15%, and it can cause digestive upset. So for best results, I suggest you keep this one in your bath routine and not in your supplement shelf. 
So how do you pick the right magnesium? Well, it all depends on what you need. Do you want better sleep and less anxiety? I would suggest you go with glycinate. Do you need more help with your memory or focus? Then I'd try L3 on 8. If you're concerned about heart health and blood pressure, Torate is a solid choice. Battling constipation? Citrate is your friend, but oxide only if nothing else works and watch the dose. If you're just looking to boost your overall magnesium levels, glycinate is your best starting point. Be sure to read the labels carefully and check the ingredients. If it says magnesium glycinate blend, it might be mixed with cheaper forms like magnesium oxide, which is less effective and more likely to cause digestive issues. So for best results, look for products that list fully reactive magnesium by glycinate to ensure that you're getting a high quality, well-absorbed form. And then again, I also suggest you check with your doctor, especially if you're on other medications, since magnesium can interact with other drugs. To wrap it up, magnesium is a powerhouse mineral that your body needs to thrive. While supplements can help, try to get magnesium from foods like leafy greens, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and yes, dark chocolate. If you do need a supplement, choosing the right form can make all the difference. Before starting any supplement, especially if you have any health conditions or take medications, again, talk to your healthcare practitioner before going any further. Thanks for watching and let's keep this health journey going. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend and hit that subscribe button with the bell so that you never miss a health tip from me. Drop a comment below and let me know what magnesium form you're using or if you have any questions. See you in the next video.